Joy with joyslife.com and today I wanted to show you a little bit about the Big Shot which you see here on your left and the Cuddle Bug on your right. Generally they're used for embossing but they can also be used for die cutting of the big die cuts and even the small ones like this one. This is a Cuddle Bug one by Provocraft and um, that's what they're used for. So I wanted to show you the difference and the similarities between the two. First of all, let me show you something that really amazed me. I know that you probably noticed that the Big Shot is much larger than the Cuddle Bug, but when I put the Big Shot on my digital scale, I found out that it is actually not as heavy as the Cuddle Bug. If you can see, that's the Big Shot on the scale, and it's 7 pounds and 8.3 ounces. All right, let's put the Cuddle Bug on there. Okay, the cuddle bug all by itself there is 7.88 ounces. Pretty amazing, huh? It looks so much smaller. What you see here is in the background we've got the big shot and in the foreground the cuddle bug. The big shot cannot close up. It's open like that all the time. So if space is an issue, you might consider the cuddle bug. Let me show you how it opens. All you have to do is pull both sides down. What's nice about the cuddle bug is it has feet down at the bottom that stick it to a surface when you open it. So it won't move. Okay, I've done my best here to line up the cuddle bug and the big shot, and you can see on the right how far the big shot still sticks out. But of course, the big shot stays that way. We can just, I need to scoot this back a little, but we can just close the cuddle bug up like that. And that's all the shelf space it's going to take up. Gotta love that. Well, I told you that the cuddle bug has little feet underneath it that hold it down, but that's not accurate. It actually has this whole pad, and to be honest, I don't think I'd actually looked at it before. So this pad is what is sticking down to your surface. Well, there are things that you need to use your cuddle bug and your big shot, and they basically both need the same kinds of things. Uh, with the cuddle bug, you'll need these B plates. They are just cutting pads that you need. The Big Shot uses something like that too. But they're just clear and they're not marked. They just look like that. To use the Cuddle Bug, you also need an A-plate. It's just a spacer plate. And the Big Shot uses something like that too. It looks like this. It's a lot bigger and it has information on what tab you need to use for whatever thing you're trying to cut. For instance, this is tab 2 and it can cut wafer thin dies here. On the next page, or tab, it tells you all the other things that it can cut. Metal stencils, Sisix textures, which look like these big black plates, much bigger than your typical cuddle bug embossing folder. But I have to say, they, in my opinion, they don't emboss as well. The cuddle bug, I believe, the cuddle bug folders which look like this, give the best emboss in either machine. You can use these both in the Cuddle Bug and in the Big Shot. The Cuddle Bug also uses a plate called the C-plate. It's a thin die adapter. I haven't really used this yet, as you can see, but I'm still cutting some things with my Big Shot, so that might be why. Another thing you need with your Big Shot is this impressions pad. It's just a plastic pad. And then the silicone rubber mat. This is really used with embossing. It helps a lot. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the Big Shot. First, we're going to cut this little thin die of three Christmas trees using the multi-purpose platform just on the top. But I wanted to show you something that happens when you use these. These are just little dies if you smash them real hard with your fingers, <laughs> not too hard, you don't want to get hurt, but you can see that there's a little metal piece under there and that is what actually pokes through the paper. Well, when you use those with your um, clear, pretty little mats, this is what happens. Do you see that? I've cut all kinds of different little things with mine and they will leave an impression. Don't panic, it's okay. But if it bothers you, get new clean plates like I did and use these plates just constantly for doing that kind of cutting because this is the mess you're stuck with. 
Okay, but we learn to love it. Embrace the mess. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my cutting pad down, my multi-purpose platform, my cutting pad. I'm gonna put the wafer thin die up like that. I'm going to put the paper down over it. And now my other beaten up mat. I'm going to stick that right in there. And they're so bent, it's hard to get them in there, right? Okay. Let's try tab one. I think we might have too much going on here. And in the interest of time, I'm just going to show you now how to use Cuddlebug folders in the Cuddlebug. They can also be used in the Big Shot, but we're just going to do it in this for now. So what I need is the A plate. I'm going to stick that into the Cuddlebug. And then we're going to put a B plate down. It's just this says B on it, real easy. And then we're just going to stick the Cuddlebug folder right there and put a B plate on top of it. Okay, you don't have to memorize A, B, B. It's just don't worry about it. A goes on the bottom. You'll figure it out when you see it. It's really not hard. So then we just roll it through. You can hold on to your cuddle bug and you just roll. Okay, all done. Now we're going to take the cuddle bug folder out. Open it up. And we should have an embossed image of the hound's tooth folder. Oh, argyle, sorry. Argyle folder. And we do. Look how nice it is. Look at that. That is a great emboss. So which one wins between the cuddle bug and the big shot? I'd have to give the award to the cuddle bug. That's simply because it takes up less room and it still does everything that the big shot can do. It does seem that the big shot is a stronger machine and maybe even a little bit better made, but I still prefer the cuddle bug. I hope you enjoyed this video of the comparison between the Sissix Big Shot and Provo Crafts Cuddle Bug. And I hope you'll keep coming to joyslife.com. See you later. <laughs>